This is Mrs. K here with a discussion of an organism called a protist. You might be wondering what is a protist? You might have never heard of that living thing before. But protists are living organisms that oftentimes live in the water. So if you've ever gone to a lake or a stream and you've seen some kind of green stuff growing on the lake, that's called algae, and algae is a type of protist. Um, protists are one type of eukaryote. If you'll remember that eukaryotes are the complicated living things on Earth. Um, they uh, have a nucleus, mitochondria, chloroplasts, and any, any other uh, complicated organelle. Remember, U rhymes with do, so they do have those complicated uh, organelles. There are four types of living things that are eukaryotes. Plants, animals, fungi, and protists are all our eukaryotes. Bacteria are not complicated, and they go in our prokaryote group. Protists can be unicellular or multicellular. They're usually unicellular, though, meaning they're usually made of one cell. Protists can be like plants, animals, or fungi. Some protists get their energy from the sun and they make their own food. Some protists eat their food like animals and fungi do. Um, you might be wondering what kind of special parts a protist has. It doesn't have hands or feet like a human does, um, but it does have these five special parts that you'll need to know about in class. The contractile vacuole, cilia, flagellum, a pseudopod, and an eye spot. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at those. A contractile vacuole helps a protist to live in aquatic or watery environments. The function of a contractile vacuole is to pump out any extra water so that a protist does not burst. Um, since a protist lives in an aquatic environment, water will be constantly entering a protist cells. Okay? And the contractile vacuole is kind of shaped like a sun or a star, um, and it pumps out this extra water so that the protist does not explode or does not burst. Uh, a protist needs to be able to move, and it has uh, three major adaptations that help it to the move. The first one is cilia. Cilia kind of look like eyelashes or little hairs, and the cilia help a protist to move. Another adaptation that helps a protist to move is this tail-like structure called a flagellum, and it kind of works like a propeller by spinning and moving back and forth in order to propel the protist through water. Another adaptation that helps a protist to move is called a pseudopod. Pseudopod literally means false foot. If you've ever heard of a pseudonym, that's somebody's false name. Pseudo means uh, false and pod means foot. So the pseudopod are these little projections that a protist uses to move around. They kind of look like blobs. And sometimes the pseudopod can come together to actually eat uh, different materials or take in different materials. So this protist could be eating bacteria and its pseudopods will come together and engulf this organism right here. Now our last adaptation that you need to know about is called the eye spot and it is particularly important for protists that get their energy from the sun. They use the sunlight to make their food through photosynthesis. Now, an eye spot is not like an eyeball. If you close your eyes, sometimes you can look around and find out where the light is. Okay, Just like that, a protist can use its eye spot to find light. It doesn't actually see things, but it can recognize light. Um, and usually the protist will move towards the light. Um, and a, a fancy word for something that a living thing moves towards or away from is called a taxis. Not taxis, taxis. Uh, taxis is something a living thing moves towards or away from. Now, if a living thing moves towards something, that's called a positive taxis. It's moving towards it. If a living thing moves away from something, that's called a negative taxis. Um, and there's lots of different types of taxi. Um, one is called a phototaxis. A phototaxis is when a living thing moves in response to light. Photo literally means light. So again, it's this eye spot that helps the protist figure out where the light is. 